हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एस टी एल टी इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टूडे हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एच टी एक्स एल पी केबल हिट स्ट्रिंग टर्मिनेशन फर्स्ट आई Uh, start about some phenomena about uh, st stress control here is the outer sheet here is the copper screen here is the conductor here is the core screen and here is the xlp insulation here is the xlp insulation here is the conductor here is the electrical field this is concentrated at the end of the uh, core screen termination here is the distribution of electric fields without stress control cone in figure it is shown that the equipotential line concentrate at the edge of the earth screen termination causing high electrical stress here is the concentrated electrical field that is called high electrical stress electrical field enhancement at this points can produce local discharges that could lead to either flash over along the surface or dielectric breakdown cause cable failure note the stress distribution at the conductor joint bad is consider considerably due to changes in the profile introduced by the use of ferrule sharp edges and the protrusions at the joint if left and relieved also result in abrupt change of the stress gradient it is therefore essential for the conductor to have a smooth profile so that there is no undue concentration of stresses here is the electric field is concentrated here this portion and cause the insulation damage or failure okay next here is the distribution of electric fields with stress control cone here is the distributed field the concentrated is reduced here the concentrated field is reduced with use of stress control cone the stress cone made of semiconducting bonding tape here is the copper screen this is outer sheet this is the core screen this is the core screen this is the electrical field conductor xlp insulation this is xlp insulation distribution of electric fields with stress control cone to make stress relief cone semiconducting bonding tape is wrapped half lapping over core starting from copper screen 10 mm this is 10 mm and continuing over core semiconducting screening this is also 10 mm to xlp insulation 20 mm this is xlp insulation yeah this is 20 mm from starting the semiconducting tape will be of thin layer then gradually it will be thick of 2 mm over the middle portion then again gradually it will be thin layer at the finishing end this is the starting end this is here is thin layer then gradually it will be thick and here also gradually it will be thick uh, thick to thin yeah at the finishing end okay 
and thus the concentrated electric field is reduced and the stress will be relieved shown in the figure above here is the stress concentrated stress will be reduced here okay next here before started the heat shrink termi termination of HTXLP cable some caution will be stated the first one keep the cable preparation kit and cable free from water and moisture first one second measure the insulation resistance value measure before and after commence the job it should be minimum 200 mega ohms next self bonding insulating tape should be applied 50 percent overlap and 70 percent of its width fourth cleaned and degreased parts of the installation parts for installations clean and degreased parts for installation avoid the insulation damage during cable preparation apply nylon string or suitable tool for cutting the insulation apply aluminium oxide cloth for insulation polishing apply cleaning liquid or cleaning tissue for cleaning ensure that each heat shrink tube is shrunk with no wrinkles and voids. This, the wrinkles and voids may cause cable insulation failure. Unless otherwise instructed, start shrinking tube from center, working flame around all sides of the tube to apply uniform heat okay next here is the preparation of HT XLP cable termination cable preparation remove the cable outer sheath cut and maintain the armor then fold back the out fold back over the outer sheet and over the outer sheet and bind with copper bind wire. Remove the cable outer sheet, cut and maintain the armor, then fold back over the outer sheet. Here is the armor. I fold it just like this. This and bind it with copper binding wire the length of the inner sheath copper screen semiconducting layer and bare conductor are given below table here is the length L voltage rating for 7.2 kV uh, and 12 kV for indoor termination the length is 650 mm L this is the L and for outdoor termination this is this will be 700 mm and for 36 kV indoor termination the length L will be 800 mm and for outdoor termination this will be 900 mm and here is the LA LA means the length of the armor which is 50 mm LI means the length of, length of the inner sheath which is 10 mm LCS LCS means length of the copper screen which is 100 mm and L S L in mm which is 50 mm semiconducting layer length L S L semiconducting layer length which is 50 mm L X in mm length of lock barrel plus 5 mm L X 
length of lock barrel plus 5 mm bare conductor length okay next here i joined the earthing lock and earthing conductor with armor join the earthing conductor with folded armor first here it is binding with the armor uh, this is the earthing conductor this is the earthing lock lock this is copper binding wire folded armor inner sheet copper screen semiconducting layer xlp insulation bare conductor okay next wrap copper wire mesh over folded armor this is the copper wire mesh cop wrap copper wire mesh over folded armor and bind one terminal end of copper braid with copper screen by copper binding wire at a distance 100 mm from inner sheet here is the inner sheet here is the uh, copper braid here is the copper braid here is the copper braid which is binded with copper screen from uh, a length 100 mm from inner sheet and bind the other terminal end of copper braid with copper wire mesh wrapped over the armor by copper binding wire here is the wire mesh copper wire mesh i bind the braid uh, with by copper binding wire repeat the same for other two braids also repeat the same for other two braids also wrap pvc non adhesive tape over each sharp pages and over earthing assembly note use soldering for permanent connection of copper yeah so i can use soldering here 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 for make it strong bonding and uh, permanent connection uh, copper to copper i you we may use soldering this is copper screen this is copper braid copper wire mesh semiconducting layer xlp insulation bare conductor uh, this is the arrangement of art thing for copper screen okay next Now the preparation of stress control cone. Stretch stress control mastic or semiconducting bonding tape over each core starting from 10 mm from XLP insulation and continue of semiconducting layer up to 20 mm. This is 10 mm. This is 20 mm. Stretch. stress control elastic tape or semiconductor bonding tape over each core starting from 10 mm and from <coughs> 10 mm from xlp insulation and continue on the semiconducting layer up to 20 mm 20 mm and wrap the copper screen termination with non adhesive pvc tape this is the wrapping of with pvc non adhesive tape on over the termination of copper screen this is xlp insulation okay next slide the heat sinkable stress control tube over each core and position lower end of the tube 10 mm from copper screen screen cut cut end This is the 10 mm. This is the lower end of the heat shrinkable stress control tube. Apply flame to shrink the tube starting from lower end and continue to upwards. The tube should be shrunk uniformly and is free from voids and wrinkles. This is the stress control tube. In the red portion. Uh, this is the semiconducting layer, copper screen. This is the non-adhesive PVC tape. The distance is 10 mm. The preparation of stress control cone is done. 
ओके नेक्स्ट हेयर इंसर्ट द हीट सिंकेबल ब्रेकआउट ओवर द कोर्स एंश्योरिंग दैट ओवरलैप्स द आउटर शीत एंड स्टार्ट सिंकिंग बाय यूज ऑफ फ्लेम फ्रॉम टोटल ब्रेकआउट टू फिंगर्स ऑन द कोर्स Here is the breakout. Here is the breakout finger, and this is all at the outer sheet, and cover the earthing conductor also. This is the finger. Insert the terminal lug on the bare conductor of the end core. This is the terminal lug. Trim the lug on the bare conductor. File the existing sharp paint of the trim portion to make it smooth. Apply red mastic tape on the gap between the insulation of core and the terminal lug. Lug. This is the red mastic tape. This is the lug. This is the XLP insulation. This is the stress control tube, copper screen. This is the finger breakout. I think lug. This is the uh, outer sheet. The breakout covers the outer sheet. It's incredible breakout. Okay, next. Slide the heat sinkable anti-tracking tubes over each core from the end of the course in such a way. that the bottom end of the tubing covered the breakout fingers top end for about 25 to 30 mm 25 to 30 mm 25 to 30 mm 25 to 30 mm slide the heat sinkable anti tracking tubes over each core from the end of the core from the end of the course in such a way that the bottom end of the tubing covered the breakout fingers top in for about 25 to 30 mm this is the anti tracking tube this is a lug this is a breakout sink anti tracking tube starting from bottom and continuing towards the cable lugs thus the the end of termination is completed this is here this is the earthing lug Thus, the end of termination of HT cable is completed. Okay, next. This is rain set. This is rain set. Insert and string rain sets in the position shown on all three cores shown in the figure. The first set should be fitted at a distance 200 mm from the lower edge of the anti-tracking tube to the edge of the set. The first set should be fitted at a distance 200 mm from the lower edge of the anti-tracking tube to the edge of the set. This is the lower end of the anti-tracking tube and this is the edge. This is the 200 mm. All subsequent sheds should be fitted at a distance of 80 mm from edge to edge. This is edge 80 mm, the distance. Number of shed per phase for 7 point voltage 7.2 kV indoor nil, outdoor one one shed, one range shed, and for 12 kV indoor nil, outdoor two range shed. For 36 kV indoor one. Outdoor four range set. Note: Don't position range sets at the top of the stress control tubes. Thus, the outdoor termination is completed. Here is the earthing lug for connection connection to earth. Thus, the indoor termination is outdoor indoor termination of HT cable is completed.
thank you for watching the video if you think the video is useful to you then please share it to your friends and subscribe our channel okay thank you meet you next time bye